For our next speaker, I'd like to welcome Michael Critchfield, who is the ETS product manager here at the KNX Association. Now, we have a very exciting topic today because it's ETS 6.3. What can we expect? Michael, welcome as the sole tool you know, for commissioning KNX projects. The usability of ETS is crucial. So we're really looking forward to you telling us what's launching and what are we going to be able to do with it. Michael, all over to you. Thank you, Bob. Yes, indeed, we have been we have been teasering uh, this new version in our support cases uh, for months um, because our customers are waiting for this. Um, this is coming yeah, packed full with improvements, um, solutions for many many issues our customers faced in the last months and years. And so, yeah, I guess everybody, not just not just us, but everybody is waiting for this version. Um, it's bringing lots of big and also smaller improvements. Yeah. Can you give us an example of some of the improvements that we can expect from the prior version? Yeah, absolutely. Um, in one of the last versions, we added something called groups in the sidebar, um, which was a new way, especially targeting smaller screens or mobile working, uh, to link groups to communication objects with just one monitor in, in just one panel. And we got a lot of feedback for that. It was a very highly anticipated, very appreciated function, but of course it, it could be extended, right? As always, every function can be extended. And so the users, our customers had great feedback um, and we like to listen to that. And so this new version of ETS 630 brings an improvement there, um, allowing bi-directional linking. So you can now also drag objects onto the groups in the sidebar. And with this, it's another, let's say, opening another possibility because now you can do also multi-selection, right? So you can do multiple objects onto the groups. So, you know, taking what we have and improving, building upon that with feedback we get from the market. I think that's what this is all about, right? Um, as, as soon as you launch a feature, you know, people always find out other ways you need to expand it. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we realize out of feedback and out of out of uh, customer tests, right? We we have one intent in mind, but then of course our customers take it really much onwards, right? They really make use of the software, and so they find our 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 gaps, right? They found they find everything we left behind, and they they come with ideas we couldn't even think about. Right? So yeah, very appreciated about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's where it gets exciting, where you get to 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 open it up to all the possibilities and, and yeah. to the imaginations of the people who are actually in the field with it. So it's wonderful. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And we are launching a new app called the the Project Password Manager um, in ETS 6.3, which is very important because we see more and more KNX Secure being used in projects. And so many, many more projects now have a password. And so, of course, users tend to set very easy, very simple passwords because they need to remember them, right? And they need to type them again and again. And so this new app in ETS 6, uh, that allows the users to have ETS manage these passwords. And I think that's a, big, that's a great improvement, a big ease of use uh, for the users. And also uh, probably a very good addition for cybersecurity. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's what this is all about, right? The European Union, especially, it's all moving to more towards more cybersecurity. And KNX Secure is there, right? But it needs to be used and it shouldn't be too cumbersome as well. Yeah. So that's a great help, I think. So it, what else do we need to know about, you know, it just, you know, what other features, what else do we need to know about ETS 6.3 that, that makes it new and different? Yeah, um, well, We've got a lot of feedback, again, lots of feedback from the user base about how to log in into ETS and how to license it, uh, how to license apps. And so ETS 6.3 improves that whole situation, the first setup when you when you install and start ETS 6.3 the first time. It's become easier to log in. It's also become much more secure, right? Because we are now use uh, OAuth 2, which is a, a very, very secure method of logging in. Um, but you can also download the apps you own directly from within ETS, uh, whereas nowadays, or let's say in the past, uh, you first need to go to MyKNX and you download the apps yourself, right? And so 
you can do that from within ETS and you can also update from within ETS. So this has become a lot easier now. Um, and then of course, that's what's all about. KNX has support for IoT, right? Our KNX IoT standard is being supported with ETS 6, but ETS 6.3 brings support for these latest new devices because now we have KNX IoT devices. Um, and so they, they are in the catalog and uh, you can enjoy them with ETS 6.3. A new KNX president in his interview just before this, you know, stressed about, you know, the uh, importance to keep everything easy. And I, yeah. I think that's one of, one of the wonderful things about the KNX future, you know, that you're spending so yeah. much time and energy on, on making e even the use, you know, of the technology, the setup use of technology yeah. to be, you know, less complicated and, uh, and yeah. seamless, you know, everybody wants that. Yeah, it's there, there's there's a difference between complexity and difficulty, right? The, the the KNX system, it is a complex system. Nothing can change that. I mean, we are even encouraging creating complex systems, right? That's that's what this is about. Otherwise, you could find another solution. But KNX is all about complexity, but it shouldn't be difficult for the user to achieve this, right? And that's what this is about. Um, our president is is a big fan of simplicity, um, peace of mind, and I, I share his values there. Um, but we need to find a, a path towards that, right? Because we also need to take our existing user base with us, right? Um, they, we are on a journey. Um, we have made lots and lots of changes in the recent years with, with ETS 6, especially. Uh, we've, dis we've changed how groups are displayed. We are moving towards more functions. Um, and so in ETS 6.3, again, we are making improvements towards that, how groups are displayed. And it's all about simplicity, indeed. And you know, along the way, as you say, it's, it's the back end is getting more complex while you're trying to make the front end more you know, yeah. uh, easy to interface with and yeah. at, along the way you, you've assimilated functions for iot and cybersecurity, yes. two very very complex things by themselves yeah yeah and and everything encrypted but but indeed we try to hide this especially from the user because this is just getting more and more complex right um so they need to be able our, our installers our system integrators uh, they need to be able to to integrate these devices, but we try to protect them. You could say from from the from how the security works. Right? We have new topological um, elements like the security proxy. Right? Again, uh, complexity by 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 definition, but we try to not have the user stumble over this. Okay. Can you explain the security proxy for people like me? <laughs> My pleasure. We we come from we come from a past where an installation was was plain, right? So you come you can connect to that installation and you can read out the traffic and you can even control the installation. This was beneficial in the past, but it's 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 a growing security concern, right? Um, with more and more installations having also an internet connection. So in in the past, some years ago my my colleagues and you know together with our manufacturers knx secure was developed and so you could now create an installation with just secure devices uh, and you can mix but a secure device could not speak to a plain device um, with the same group address so you had basically two isolated uh, areas two isolated worlds in your project and now the security proxy that allows you to have, let's say, a coupler between these two worlds, right? You can have through the security proxy, have a secure device talk to a plain device. And that allows you to keep your existing installation. Um, you know, you have that investment stability, but you can extend it with secure devices. And so you can benefit from that cybersecurity while maintaining your existing installation. Well, that's again, peace of mind, right? So that's what the security proxy allows you to do. Well, peace of mind is important. You know, I mean, you can't get anything yeah. more important than peace of mind. Yeah. In terms of logistics, you know, you know practically, how does that impact a timeline where the, the uh, integrators get a chance to, to pick the tires, so to speak? 
Yeah, okay. Um, with ETS 6, um, that has an integrated automatic update uh, functionality. So the next time our integrators start ETS 6, they get a, they get a pop-up. They see in ETS, they see the release notes. Um, they can also follow a link to a more descriptive page. So they see all the content there and they can make the choice, um, or, but they don't have to. I think that's important. They don't have to, right? Because during the day, maybe at a, at a customer's site, that's the last thing I would recommend anybody to do, right? Um, take your time, re read the release notes. Um, we are preparing lots of YouTube content also for 6.3 and the, and the many improvements. So again, take your time, read through, educate yourself on what that brings you and then make make that educated decision um, but once you do uh, the update functionality is built into into ETS and so that update itself is very seamless we start to ask for questions from the audience you know it, can you just summarize what you'd like to say to the audience about the, the launch of the ETS 6.3 um, yeah like I said um, test it do the update, but just don't do it while you're on the go, uh, while you have the customer breathing in your neck. So take your time, uh, test it out, see the many benefits, see that we have improved on how to scan FTSKs using multiple webcams, how to align the visualization with ETS using pasting of groups, um, see that you can now use the automatic interface even when multicast is not available. So there's there's so many things in ETS 6.3, but familiarize yourself with that. My team and I, we've done a lot to to help with this, um, lots of content online. So yeah, all I can say is have fun with that and uh, good progress. And I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of interesting questions now as I open it up to the audience. For sure. Who would like to just, you know, give you a few questions to uh, uh, help them understand about the power of the ETS 6.3. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Paul.